In this tutorial, you will learn how to quickly create a silhouette using our Photoshop action set. Start by opening the photo provided to you and play the action step one. This brightens the backdrop, but sometimes brightens your subject too much. If necessary, use step 1.5 to darken your subject. Then move on to step two and play the action. A pop-up prompt will come up explaining to you what to do. Read the prompt and hit continue. Use the dropper tool to select a spot on your backdrop. Using the window provided, slide the fuzziness slider until your background looks as light as possible and your subject looks as dark as possible. Another prompt will pop up explaining what to do in this step. Using this tool, start with the subtraction and paint over your subject. Ensure that your entire subject shows up as red. Then switch to the addition tool and make sure your entire backdrop shows as white. There's a few spots on her hair that I want to go back and touch up. I'm also going to use my subtraction tool even though she has some hair here. I feel like opening up this space will create a better silhouette. Select OK and your silhouette automatically appears. Now I want to crop a little bit. This looks right. I'm going to accept the changes and now I'm going to go back to my action set and add a border. I prefer the thick border. Moving on to this example, I'll show you again starting with step one. Now she is appearing much lighter, so I'm actually going to run this step 1.5 several times, just so that she doesn't blend in too much with the backdrop. Moving on to step two, I'll do it just as before. Select the backdrop and slide the fuzziness slider until it looks right to you. It's okay if a few places are white or black that should be the opposite because you can correct it in the next step. Using my subtraction tool, I'm once again going to go over her face and body and hair. I'm using this example because her hair is a little trickier. As I go over the background, I'm going to be careful to clean up her hair, but as you can see, the edges still stay sort of jagged. To correct this, switch to this tool, and this will allow you to manually smooth it out. Hitting OK, I have my silhouette created, so I'm going to crop again. And now I'll add another border. Be sure to save your file when you're finished.